Hey, what's up guys? We're going to be taking a look at another card that's coming out in Lord of the Tycoon Galaxy. It's called Summon Breaker. Now it's a field spell, and it says during the main phase 1, if the player summons 3 times during their turn, it becomes the end phase of this turn. The only problem I see with this card, which a lot of you guys haven't been peeing me saying this card is like the new anti-meta card. The problem with this card is that, you know, it's already face up on the field, they can already see it. And the problem with that is they can just go, oh, you know, I'm just going to main phase two, spell summon as many times as I want. Because remember, it just says during the main phase one, if the player summons. So you could still like go for like a defensive play. Like you can still go tour guide and tour guide, and then just go like Zen mains and just be like, oh, it's cool. I'll just sit on my stuff. But yeah, the problem is you can still summon three times, and it doesn't really have any like other negative effect. And because it's already face up on the field, um, you know, your opponent is obviously going to see it and they can play around it. Whereas a card like, say, for example, Summon Limit. You play this against Heretics, oh man, they're pretty sad because this is a trap card, obviously, so they can't really see it coming. Um, but uh, even though Heretic Dragons, let's, let's be honest, they do play like the Night Beams and all that stuff, but, uh, you know, um, it's a pretty good card. So it's neither player can summon more than two times per turn. So they just go, they go, oh, you control a monster, I spell some of my uh, Tafnuit, and then you're just like, bam, Summon Limit. And then what are they going to do? <laughs> it's not very good for them. Or they can, like, tribute that for, like, another monster. And uh, as long as it's not, like, Sue, so, you know, Sue could obviously, you know, activate its effect to destroy. Uh, but, uh... Obviously, you know, uh, it's not a bad card against certain matchups, um, and I feel like this card is just a little bit stronger. However, Summon Breaker plus another card actually has a pretty nice combo. So, if you have Summon Breaker in your hand, or I'm sorry, in your deck, you can use this card when they special summon a monster. It's Demise of the Land, which is kind of like the combo card of it. So, you can activate it only when your opponent special summons a monster. Select one field spell card from your deck and activate it. So, you know, that's a pretty cool combo that you can do, like, Demise of the Land, so then uh, in that aspect, you can kind of use Summon Breaker like a trap, Al although, um, essentially, like, uh, you'll be having to run Demise of the Land, which could become a dead draw. Uh, I mean, realistically, there's not really any ways to add this to your hand than, like, terraforming, and, uh, I like the combo with Demise of the Land. And what's cool, if you guys didn't know, if you look at the picture right here, we have that, like, uh, T-Rex, I'm not sure what the exact card is, but, uh, we see the same card over here where it, it the monster just can't come out. <laughs> it's very sad, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't have any, like, um, you know, effects like, you know, blow up the monsters or anything like that. I find Maxi is a much better card because at least you get to draw off of it. This, they can set up around it and, like, they can play around it. Um, and with Summon Limit, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a surprise you can't special summon anymore. I think that that is a uh, pretty good aspect. The, the problem that I find with Summon Breaker is, you know, special summoning three times is still a decent amount of times. I mean, sure, it ends the, uh, you know, it goes right to the end phase, like, but you can still go Kageki Kagamusha or, um, or just, uh, you know, summon Elder, activate Asceticism, get out another monster and still make Xi'an, and then, yeah, sure, it'll be the end phase, but they still get to get off their play, and you essentially didn't really get to go plus off of it. Maybe if it, like, let you draw cards, or, like, destroyed a monster, or had some other effect, uh, this card would be a little bit better. I personally do not find this card very meta, like, even, like, if you're gonna side deck this card, I just don't find it that meta. I mean, most of the time, anyways, when people side deck, they always side deck at MSCs, um, if they don't already main deck triple. And, uh, yeah, uh, Summon Breaker, I personally don't find it good, but if you guys know how to use this card better than me, by all means, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I personally just find Summon Limit a superior card because it's a surprise. Uh, I think trap cards, you know, as a surprise, are always better than leaving a face-up face card in the field and saying, okay, deal with it, and they can just play around it. But that are, those are my thoughts. But let me know what you guys think of this because, yeah, I've had a lot of people pin me saying that this card's good. I think it's mediocre. I think Summon Limit's much, uh, a much better card. But anyways, thanks for watching. Asian Eyes signing out.